Hello again YouTube. Today we'll be doing an unboxing and review of the TP-Link TL-SG10244 port rack mountable switch. I didn't really see many reviews on this particular switch, so I figured I'd do one. If you haven't seen my video about how I set up my home network using this switch, the link to the video is in the description. So the switch came in this box from Newegg. I was looking for a budget 1 gigabit per second switch that I could rack mount. This one cost me $70. Here's the actual product box. Here is a close-up of the box. Here you can see the front label where it describes some of its features. Notably the 24 ports, the speed, 1 gigabit per second, the fanless design. I wanted something quiet or even silent. Green technology, whatever that means. Other features, high performance, easy to use, that sort of stuff. This switch is compatible with 10 base T, 100 base TX, and 1000 base T, and features a star topology. It runs on the CSMA CD protocol. It has auto MAC address learning and auto aging, typical stuff for a switch. Pretty inexpensive box and not too much in here. And there is a uh, short little manual. The switch, which dimensions are 17.3 by 7.1 by 1.7 inches, uh, comes in this plastic sleeve. Uh, up close you can see that it's uh, slick looking and not very heavy. You can see the LED indicators which I wish were above each individual port but it's alright it's only a minor preference. Not too much on the sides and in the back there's only a power plug. Nothing much anywhere else on it. Uh, there's a label on the back. I can try to get a shot of it maybe. There are a few more items in the box. Comes with accessories, which we'll look at in a second. Brackets, screws, and whatnot. And also the power cable for the switch. This switch can be set on your desk if you prefer. I have it here just to show it but I will eventually mount it. Here are the LED indicators. They will let you know of power, activity, link status, whether or not it's gigabit or not, the connection. Here are the accessories that come with the switch. You have your two mounting brackets, even though it looks like there's only one here. Then you have the sticky pads for placing it on the desk, and you have the screws to mount the brackets to the switch. Screws for mounting the switch to the rack were not included. So, if you know how to use a Phillips screwdriver, then mounting the brackets to the switch is a pretty simple affair. I'm pretty thrilled with how it looks, and it goes well with the patch panel I chose. Mounting the switch was also fairly easy. The alignment was just fine, and it went up without a problem. This unmanaged switch doesn't have a ton of fancy features, but for those who are looking for a nice-looking, fast, rack-mountable switch that doesn't have to have a million features, then this one's hard to beat. I haven't had any issues with it. No slowness, no freezing, everything just works, and that's the beauty and even a plus of this switch is its simplicity. Anyone can buy it and use it. It looks great rack mounted and you can plug anything into any port and it will just figure it out and go. 
So at this point, let's do some file transfers. Let's see what speeds we can get with it. My two computers in this test are hooked up directly to the switch, so nothing else should be affected by this test. I'm transferring a 4.4 gigabyte movie from a spinning hard drive on my server to an SSD in my laptop. It peaks at about 104 megabytes per second and averages around 90. You can see the switch going to town and activity lights going crazy. I'll speed it up here by 3 so that way we don't get too bored here. And you can see the switch will hover in this test just under 90 megabytes per second. I'm also going to transfer about a hundred smaller files and they'll reach a transfer rate of between 40 and 55, peaking at 72 megabytes per second. I also transferred that large movie one more time between two SSDs and it would average around 110 megabytes per second as you can see here instead of 90. So we're getting pretty close to the one gigabit per second limit. I'm very pleased with this performance. For such an inexpensive switch, I'd recommend it for sure. So if this was helpful, like it. If you have any questions, ask it in the comments. Thanks for watching.